Shanyan is joining the playable character roster in version 4.4. During the livestream, we saw her gameplay and kit, that has given us an idea of her role in the game. She is a 5-star Animo unit that uses a catalyst. Her kit is controversial, while some players like her playstyle, others have shown disapproval. So now the question is, whether or not you should pull for her, especially the free-to-play players. Shanyan's potential lies in her unique kit that combines healing abilities with support for plunging attacks. Being a powerful healer makes her a valuable asset, especially for those lacking characters like Baiju or Kokomi in their party. Her elemental burst not only provides instant healing to the entire party but also grants continuous healing over time, similar to Jean. And since her buff and healing scale on her attack, it will be easier for you to build her without sacrificing one thing for the other. The key aspect that sets Shanyan apart, is her ability to enhance plunge attack damage for other characters. This becomes particularly intriguing for players who use characters like Diluc and Xiao in their lineup. Despite Diluc's reliance on elemental infusions, he will benefit from Shanyan's plunge attack buff. Xiao being the sole character in the game centered around plunge attack damage, synergizes well with Shanyan's plunge attacks. Some players might raise questions about the applicability of Shanyan's plunge attack buff. Others argue that even without the benefit of her buffs, her healing makes her a valuable addition. So you may consider pulling for Shanyan for her healing abilities, rather than her plunge attack support. Shanyan's elemental skill allows her to do a high jump and a short glide which will be useful in mountain areas, such as the upcoming Chainyu Vale. This skill will help a lot of players who don't have Wanderer. The decision to pull for Shanyan depends on individual preferences and team compositions. If you prioritize exploration and want a character who you can have fun with while exploring different areas, you should totally go for her. But if you don't focus on exploration or use characters that focus on plunge attacks, her buffs will be useless for you and her value as a dedicated support will be less, especially if you don't have Xiao and Diluc. But if you have already decided that you will pull for her, then let's take a look at what options do you have as a free-to-play player. Starting with her artifacts, a full 4-piece Veridescent set is easily the best for Shanyan since she is an Anemo support. This artifact not only provides a decent Anemo damage bonus to your character but also shreds the opponent's elemental resistance by a huge 40%. While farming you can prioritize stats as attacks or energy recharge on sands, attack percent on the goblet and crit rate or crit damage on the circlet. I wouldn't recommend using a Nemo damage bonus on goblet, because her kit isn't made to deal a lots of damage. As for what sub stats you should look for while farming, you can focus on attack percent, attack or energy recharge. You can also use a 4 piece noblesse set on her. It will increase her personal damage and buff the entire team's attack. However note that the buff does not stack, so no other character in the party must use Noblesse set. You can aim for the attack percent and energy recharge percent stats on the artifacts, similar to the Veridescent set. A 2 piece 2 piece mix match of attack percent sets is also a viable option. This combo aims to get as much attack on Shanyan as possible to increase her plunging attack buff and healing. Aim for attack percent and energy recharge percent stats on this set as well. As for her weapon, Crane's Echoing Call is Shanyan's signature and her best catalyst in Genshin Impact. It has a very high base attack and an attack percent second stat. In addition, the catalyst's passive buffs the entire party's plunging attack damage and restores some energy. Skyward Atlas is also a decent 5-star option for Shanyan. It has a pretty high base attack and an additional attack percent bonus second stat, which is great for her buff. Another good 5-star option would be Memory of Dust, which provides a ton of attack to the equipping character from its second and passive stat. Landing a hit on an enemy further increases attack, boosting Shanyan's buffs. Now let's take a look at her free-to-play weapon options. Oathsworn Eye is Shanyan's best free-to-play option. The Catalyst has attack percent second stat and energy recharge percent passive, providing everything Shanyan needs is consistent free-to-play support. Dotico Tails is another good option, which provides a ton of attack to the equipping character, making it one of Shanyan's best free-to-play options in Genshin Impact. Unfortunately, it is an old event weapon, so it is impossible to obtain it again. Favonius Codex is also a choice, but it has a low base attack, although it can be a decent free-to-play option for Shanyan as a battery, while you can try to get more attack on her artifacts. 
Now let's take a look at her best team comps. This team is arguably Shanyan's best team comp in Genshin Impact. All three units will provide several buffs to Xiao, significantly increasing his damage output. Pairing Furina and Shanyan together will allow the Furina to stack fanfare faster for more damage buff. Another good team comp for Shanyan would be this one. Diluc has the highest plunging attack scaling in Genshin Impact, making Shanyan a great support for his Dragon Strike playstyle. Furina will apply Hydro for the Vaporize reaction while Zhongli protects the team with his shield. Overall, Shanyan has an appealing design and engaging gameplay. Her unique playstyle centered around plunging attacks and healing is something we haven't seen before. For those who appreciate aesthetics and enjoy experimenting with different characters' abilities, pulling for Shanyan for her design and gameplay may be a valid reason. But if you're not sure about her, then I wouldn't recommend pulling for her, because the upcoming lineup of Fontaine is pretty crazy, and you should save all the primo gems you can, as a free-to-play player. That's all in this video, if you found this video useful, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also turn on the notifications so you never miss an update.